Well, hi guys, welcome to another Test Miles Review. I'm Nick Miles. We're checking out today the brand new Audi S5. Now, we have two sides to our brain. We have that right side, which is the more artistic side of our brain, and the sensible side, which is the left side. This car meets right in the middle. It has both artistic, sensible, and extremely exciting things about it. One of the things I want to show you before we get inside and road test it is this large power dome in the hood. Audi decided that this engine was so exciting, they needed to show you from the hood on the outside. We're going to test drive it on mountain roads. We're going to show you how well equipped it is on the inside and look at some of that tech that makes Audi the company they are today. All right, inside the brand new Audi S5, and uh, I am joined by somebody you may recognize, star of Test Miles Reviews everywhere, uh, Anthony Garbus from uh, Audi. Anthony, you, this is your baby, right? This is my baby. Um, tell me about your baby. <laughs> tell me about my baby. Is it the baby. prettiest baby ever? Of course, <laughs> it, of course it's the prettiest baby ever. Uh, so this is the all new Audi S5, 2018 model year. It got on, went on sale last week. So they're just arriving at dealerships now. Let's talk about the elements of this car that would interest those. So mechanically, mm -hmm. uh, this is where your uh, you, your best Anthony comes out. Uh, <laughs> new engine for you. It's a brand new engine. So we see it first uh, S4, S5, and then also coming in the SQ5. So it's a brand new three liter V6. So it's similar to the outgoing in the fact that it's a V6 and it's three liters, but it shares absolutely nothing with the old motor. So the old motor, uh, was a supercharged uh, V6, and this now is a single turbo twin scroll uh, V6. And uh, you have 354 horsepower, which is 21 horsepower more than the old motor, and you have 369 pound feet of torque, which is 44 pound feet of torque more than the old motor. So uh, not only are you getting more power, but the fact is, with it being a, a turbo, you're getting maximum torque at only 1370 RPM. So what that means is when you're driving around town, uh, you're getting that torque, you're feeling that instantly. And when you look at the torque peak uh, on this car compared to what it was on the previous motor, you have almost 200 newton meters more of torque, right? Uh, you know, just a little bit above idle. All right, so along with that, this is an all aluminum motor. Yes, it is. And that uh, means you managed to get it under 400 pounds. Yeah, it saved uh, 31 pounds compared to the old motor. And uh, of course, it's always good because over the front axle, so you want to reduce weight. And uh, completely aluminum. Uh, it's graphite lined, uh, graphite cast iron lined uh, cylinders, which is good for reduced friction as well. Uh, of course, redu re reduction in that weight means uh, better speed for the vehicle. Um, you've made the S5 very aerodynamic, very sexy, mm -hmm. but still to maintain that muscular approach, you've given it a big uh, domed hood. Yeah, so as we saw, um, where Frank Lamberti, who has led the design team for this vehicle, was also the person who designed the first R8. So it was very uh, great to have him working on this project. Um, this is very much Gran Turismo proportioned and uh, styling cues. So you see this big power dome on the hood and it's very uh, creased and sculpted hood as well. And this gives a sense of a lot of power, which this car does have. Zero to 60 is only 4.4 seconds in this car. And uh, one of the signature items from the first uh, S5 and A5 was the wave shoulder line. And now you see it much stronger. You also have really big rear fenders with the big like, you know, kind of the quattro uh, flare on them, which gives a sense of power as well. And it's a, 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 a back to the quattro system that is so famous with Audi, a good design element that we keep. All right, let's talk about that. So uh, once we've talked about that power, we go into this sort of new transmission mm -hmm. uh, system. So what's, uh, what's changed? I know what's changed, but tell everybody what's changed. Well, it is completely new transmission compared to the old car. Whereas the old one, we had either a six-speed manual or a seven-speed dual clutch. Now we have an eight-speed automatic. So the eight-speed automatic is great in this vehicle because it gives you an additional gear that you had more than you had before. Uh, two more when you account for the manual. And this lets you have very you know short ratio lower gears uh, for quick acceleration. Then you have these upper gears with a much taller ratio for when you're cruising on the freeway to be more efficient. And with eight gears, it'll always be when you downshift into the right uh, gear uh, for your situation. Now, uh, one of the things that you've done, uh, which is uh, maybe the purists will not like, but the yeah. truth is people didn't buy them anyway, was uh, this is only offered in the automatic transmission. Correct, so um, when you look at worldwide take rates for manual transmissions on previous generation S cars, uh, the rest of the world stopped for the most part 
uh, having a manual S4, S5 back in 2013. And we kept it through the rest of the life cycle. We're one of the only major markets that did this. And that's because like in Europe, people who are buying uh, these cars, they want the maximum performance and maximum speed and efficiency. And that comes with an automatic gearbox. And even in the US, we see it as well. Uh, people are choosing, uh, they're choosing automatics. You know, a lot of people say we want a manual, but unfortunately, and I'm really upset about it, the data doesn't support it. So there's not enough people who would buy this car to develop a second gearbox, considering the rest of the world did not have demand for it either. Uh, and then let's talk a little bit about the Quattro system. You've changed some of the mechanical design of the suspension, the Quattro system, um, and you've done some interesting things with shift, uh, with, with the mapping, the driving uh, selection mm -hmm. that has really made this car more dynamic. The Quattro system has always been good, comes as standard on this car. It's been a strong all wheel drive system mm -hmm. for Audi, yep. yet you've managed to improve it every generation. I mean, even from all road to all road, from um, sure. From each time the the configuration appears in a new vehicle, you've managed to stretch it out and find things that you could do better. Even though at that point, every time we go, it it couldn't be improved on. You've managed to find something. Well, I mean, uh, Quattro is Audi, and Audi is Quattro. Right. I mean, it's one of the it's, it's our DNA, and so as the leader in all wheel drive systems, we're always constantly improving them and and uh, coming up with new innovative ideas. And so this car, the big change with the S models is the updated sport rear differential that you can get, which is uh, much quicker and much more neutral and responsive than the previous one. So you notice when you're driving and you throw it into a turn, it instantly has already shifted power. You don't wait to feel for something to happen and then it correct. It just is dialed in and it goes. And you see when you hit the canyons in this car, it is just completely planted. And it, it's you point it and it goes and it's neutral and there's no uh, there's no understeer there's no oversteer. What uh, what does the uh, the drive select allow me to do? So drive select is standard on actually the entire A4 A5 Q5 family, and that includes the S models as well. And this lets you adjust characteristics of the car. So you can adjust your uh, you know your throttle mapping essentially your throttle response you can adjust the weight of the steering or if you have dynamic steering you can adjust the ratio of it where it's a speed dependent variable ratio if you have the adaptive suspension you can adjust how you know soft or firm you want the car to ride um, you also have the transmission which then you know sport mode where it'll do faster shifts etc um Let's talk a little bit about the interior because you've put the uh, the virtual cockpit elements in this car as yes. well. So on the interior you see a few changes from the A model and that is when you have the virtual cockpit you have this sport mode display like we're looking at right now where you have a big centrally mounted tachometer uh, with the digital, digital speedometer inside of it and then on the left and right you can customize what you want to put there whether it be a map, whether it be the trip computer or uh, you know, like here we have the date and time on the side, and also gives you a boost gauge at the bottom, which I think is very cool. So it's centrally mounted everything you need to know in one location. And then design changes. Every S model, uh, S4 and S5, comes with these super sport seats, these S sport seats that are uh, diamond stitched with leather and Alcantara, and they also have uh, adjustable side bolsters so they can squeeze in uh, on you. And they have a massage function standard as well. Hello. Yeah, and so this one we're riding in now is with a fine Napa leather, which is available in this magma red color, which I really like. Um, and, and then really that's the whole package. So uh, these are on sale now. The, the, the starting price is fairly reasonable. If I fully kitted out the S5, where would I go money-wise? Fully kitted out with every option box checked, you're in the upper 60s. Uh, which isn't bad for a... No, especially amazing. for uh, the performance you're getting from the car and the luxury and, and the quality and refinement. And the RS5 comes... What was that? Hello? Did you, did you Hello, say something? Anthony? Hello? What? Hello? Hello? I can't hear you. <laughs> You're not even going to tell me when I should be paying attention. Well, you should be paying attention to the road. There's a uh, stop sign coming up. You shouldn't be paying attention. <laughs> should I be paying attention in New York, in LA? You know, oh, and, well, I don't know. You know. Is there an RS5 in the works? Come on mm. now. Can you just give me something? Can I give you something? Give me some tidbit that nobody out there on the internet knows. 
I like your show. All right. That's okay. Yeah, there we That's go. It's a good show. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, you've been watching a Test Miles review of the new uh, Audi S5. Uh, you, of course, can find more information out at uh, testmiles.com and pictures of Anthony and all his colleagues <laughs> at Audi Media website. So you can find out, you know, how to contact them and complain about this program. And uh, <laughs> please do subscribe, that little button down below. We really like to have you along for the ride. And we'll have more reviews and some very cool cars. And But they won't be as cool as this one, right? I mean, I'm not saying that. There are always cool cars coming out. I mean, we have a RS3, TTRS oh, that we talked RS5, about. RS5, yeah, new oh. ring, da 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. That's a product guy for you. won't ever tell you anything. No. Uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.